Hi, welcome to educators.com. I'm Shavanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about pig joints, specialized pig joints, which are replicated joints, skew joints, merge joints. Pig joints. Similar to all other joints in SQL or else in the hive, this purpose of the joints is to combine the data sets. If your data is divided into the multiple data sets, if you wanted to join them together based on some specific key, some specific columns, you can combine it. And FIG also supports a lot of different types of joints, which is inner joints, left outer joint, right outer joint, full outer joint. This kind of the joints it supports. And besides that, it also supports some of the specialized joints, which are replicated joints, skewed joints, and merge joints. So here, before looking into that specialized joint, let's try to execute a join with the help of our movie lens example. So here we do have a two different files. One is the u.data file and u.item file. So let's load that into the Hadoop distributed file system. And then with the help of the load statement, we can load that into the picture, run shell. And then we can use the join. And we can combine these two data sets based on some specific column ID. For that, let me log into my Cloudera Quick Start VM. And here, u.data and u.item file have been uh, attached to the video, and you can just directly drag and drop into your uh, Cloudera Quick Start VM. You can see on top of your screen. Just open a terminal and load those two files into the Hadoop distributed file system. Hadoop FS, copy from local, and this file exists as part of the desktop u.data file. So let me directly place that. Uh, into my Hadoop distributed file system which has a u.data file. Once that is done, I will also place that as a u.item. And here, let me place this u.item file as well. Both of them as placed. Then you can directly log into your pig shell and use the load command to load your uh, this u.data and also u.item file before you use the join. And now we are into the grunt shell and we can use the load statement, load the movie details like u.data file as it is a separated with the tags. We are using a pig storage and then we are using the schema information as well. If you wanted to see these details, just dump that particular command. Similar way, we will be also loading that u.item details as well. If you see this, that dump statement showed us all the content was loaded into your fiction. A similar way, now let's load that uh, movie item details as well, which I am loading with the help of the u.item file, and the type input file is separated with the pipe symbol, so we have specified this pipe symbol here, and we are Taking only the first two fields, one is the movie ID and the next one is the movie name. So like this, we have loaded these uh, let me, two information, movie info. Once you dump the result, you can see the result on the screen. And now we can use the join and we can combine these uh, both of the results and we can see the join results on top of our screen. And here you can see that you movie info details as well. And now let's combine both of these things. And here if you see it is very simple. We are joining the two tables. One is the movie details and the movie info. 
and the column name is the movie ID. That means the movie details table, the movie ID is the column which has to be equal to the movie info table movie ID. So that is how we are joining those uh, uh, two tables, the inner join. So if you wanted to left out join or right out join, you can even specify that particular details over here itself. And here you can see that uh, the join result, like wherever you are having the same column, uh, right? This is the movie ID. So this movie ID column is equal to the same. So now we have uh, combined these two tables based on this. Suppose if you wanted to find out any of these, uh, like the count or summation, you can simply use the for each generate and navigate across to the each and every record, and you can use the aggregation functions as I showed you in the last quick command session. This is how you will be joining the multiple data sets with the help of the join. Apart from these inner left outer right outer full outer joins, we have specialized joins which are these replicated merge and split joins. So what exactly the replicated joins and when we can use the replicated joins are nothing but especially if you are having the data set, one is the bigger data set, the other one is the smaller data set. Right, so whatever the small data set you are having it, you can load that small data set into the all machines main memory. That means this similarly works like your distributed cache mechanism like whatever the smaller data set is there it loads each and everything into this RAM itself directly. And here with the help of this replicated join we can improve the performance because whatever the join operation is happening this will be done in the map side itself so that it can eliminate the need of the reducer side job. And if you're talking about the hike join, we do have, we talk about specialized map join that also works in the similar way. So the replicated join, distributed cache and the map join, everything is same. Like it loads the data set into the main memory. So how to specify these replicated joins are nothing but whatever the smaller data set which you are having it, you can simply use that data set and here uh, you can specify using replicated. The join clause is same, you are joining the movie details table and the movie info table and whenever you are executing this statement at the end you can uh, specify using replicated. So that internally the way it uh, handles is different. From your side you won't see any of the difference between these uh, results. But internally, whatever the small data set we are specifying it here, it gets loaded that into your uh, all the main all the machines. Similar way, we do have something called a skewed join as well. Before understanding the skewed join, if you try to understand the skewed data, skewed data is nothing but this is especially unbalanced data. That is nothing but if you are having a data. Suppose for a specific column you are having a lot of records, for countries equal to US I do have a lot of records, where in case of the countries equal to India I will have less number of the records. When I am trying to process this data, obviously the reducer which is getting the countries equal to US that takes a lot of time because of this huge amount of the data. Because of this uh, to maintain to manage this unbalanced data. We do have something called a skewed joins are available. So what you can do oh, with the help of the uh, skewed joins are nothing but internally it pre-samples the data and it will understand that uh, which of the data, which of the column is having a more uh, thing. And here during the pre-sampling what it does is it identifies, it uses some of the algorithms and identify the piece uh, which is having this kind of the skewed data. So this particular skewed data will be automatically, you know, that split into the multiple reducers. So the advantage of this is, if we are having two reducers and one reducer is getting entire US details, other reducer is getting entire India details, obviously whichever is having a more values take a lot of time. To avoid such kind of the performance degradation, once you observe that any of the unbalanced data is there, you can use this cube. So how you will be specifying in the joins are nothing but at the end of your join statement, you can simply mention using skewed. 
whenever we have that using food, automatically it understands that it do the pre-sampling and it takes care about the food data. And the third specialized joint we have is the merge joints. This merge joint is nothing but especially whatever the data set which you are working with, this is already in the sorted manner. In that case, what you can do is you can mention the merge because you are letting the system know that the data is already pre-sorted. So you need not worry about taking care about the sorting as part of your shuffle and sort phase, right at the ready is there. Because internally the this sorting operation, the shuffle and sorting operation in the MapReduce job is very expensive. So to avoid this expensive operation, as you already know that the data is pre-sorted, you can simply mention using merge clause. With the help of that, it will understand that the data is sorted and it process. So what it does is in the during the merge, it creates an index. Whatever the join key which you have specified, it will create an index on each of these things. But we, that is our responsibility is to cross verify whether the data is pre-sorted or not because the system does not have any verification or any kind of mechanism. We don't have to check these uh, whether the data is sorted or not. You have to verify and then if it is there, if, if the data is sorted, you can simply mention the join key as well using merge. So you can use the merge joints as well. So based on the scenario, you can use any type of the specialized joints too. So in this module, we understand the different types of the joints, the replicated joints, and we have seen that especially when you are having one larger data set and the other one is a smaller data set, you can load the small data set into the memory, and which avoids the unneeded red user side operations. And this queued join is uh, mainly the, whenever you are having unbalanced data, you can specify this queued and based on your uh, key, your data does the pre-sampling and it understands that uh, skewed data and it executes that first job for the pre-sampling and then it performs another job. And this merge join, you can specify it as a merge, especially when your data is pre-sorted. So based on these scenarios, you can use your any kind of these joints, big joints. Thank you. Let's start in the next module.